So if you're anything like me, you have to have the latest stuff, right? Especially when it comes to technology and Windows is no different. So I like to be well aware of any upcoming changes to Windows so I know what to expect, what I might be supporting in the future, and that also gives me the ability to let you guys know what's coming. Now, in order to get the latest builds of Windows, you can sign up to the Windows Insider program and then have your copy of Windows 10 used to access these beta updates. Now, a word of warning though, running beta software on your main computer may cause you to have problems because let's be clear, beta code often does have bugs and issues and if it's the PC that you rely on for work or anything important, then it's probably not a good idea to sacrifice that machine. Now, if you have a spare machine or a virtual machine, and don't forget, Hyper-V is also part of Windows 10, so you could just spin up a virtual machine if you like, or you just simply are happy to accept any risk associated with beta code, then go ahead and sign up. So if you head off to the insider.windows.com address, you can sign up for the Insider program, or you can actually do it from your Windows 10 PC directly if you prefer to do that. But do come here and have a poke around the site as well because there's a lot of information that you can have a read of. And also, there is a link here to download the ISO files as well if you'd rather do that. All right, so here's how you can do it directly from your PC. First, you'll need to have Windows 10 installed. Now, we've already established that. Now, next, on that machine, open up settings by clicking Start and the settings cog icon here. Or you could also use the keyboard shortcut of the Windows key and the letter I. Now let's go to Windows Update and Security and then we'll choose the Windows Insider program. Now at the top of this window, if you haven't already enabled the Diagnostics and Feedback settings, you'll get this big red message asking you to turn on optional diagnostic data. And honestly, why would you have done that in the past? So obviously you're gonna be asked to, in fact, actually you're gonna be forced to. So let's click this link here and then we'll choose the second radio button to enable the optional diagnostic data. Yeah, it's not optional. All right, so now we can click the back button and choose get started. This won't take long. That's a lie. Now, if you're not already logged in with a Microsoft account like myself, the first thing it's going to do is ask you to link an account. So what you're going to have to do is enter in the email address and password of your existing Microsoft account, or you can just create a new one. Now, once you've logged in, you'll have the options of joining one of three different channels. And they range in levels of development, or the most buggy, beta, or beta, depending on where you come from, which is the recommended option. And as it says, it's a more reliable option, or in other words, it's less buggy than dev and most likely to resemble what a future release will actually look like. And finally, release preview, which is mostly finished code that's going to look very much like what is going to be released to the general public soon. So this will be the least buggy, but you won't get to see all the new cool things Microsoft has done until close to when they actually are going to release that final code. So if you're interested in a good heads up as to what's coming, you'll want to check out the beta or the dev channels. So let's choose beta for this example and we'll click confirm. Now you'll get a warning that Microsoft will collect information from this build, which is fair enough considering you're now beta testing early code. So read the statement and the agreement if you're game, otherwise just click confirm and you'll be asked to restart the PC so you can begin updating this copy of Windows 10 to an Insider Preview build. So let's click Restart. Right, I've restarted and for the most part, you can't tell that this is an Insider build yet. So let's open Settings by using the shortcut of the Windows key and the letter I, and we'll choose the Windows Insider program and now you can see what channel we are receiving Insider Preview Builds for, which of course is the beta channel. Now, if you click that, by the way, you can change the channel if you decide you'd prefer to go to a different one. Now, next it shows what account we're using and you can also turn off Windows Insider Builds if you like. And now you're free to wait for this machine to start downloading and patching itself so it can update to the latest build 
or you could force it to by going over to Windows Update and kicking off an update. So let's do that. And it's most likely going to ask us to restart our PC once it's done. So thanks to the magic of television, we can pause it here and come back once this is complete. Okay, well that took about 10 minutes or so, but we're now done. We've restarted, and if you want to check that you're running the latest version, you can tell what version of Windows you're running by clicking Start and typing in WinVer, WinVer, and you can see that we're at build 21H1 on this Windows Insider build. And on my PC here, if I do the same thing, this is just a normal up-to-date copy of Windows 10 and isn't running any Insider builds. It's, of course, behind, and it's running 20 h2 and that's it there you go it's pretty easy to join the windows insider program i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you leave stay tuned for more videos have a great day